Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. At the end of reading the last chapter, we got another note from our grandfather. And apparently we need to go to the basement and get tipsy on Grandpa's old tipple. Mmm, tipple. It's a fun word to say. Tipple, 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 tipple. I'm not sure how we're going to get into the basement, though. Isn't it locked? I mean... Is there a base here? I'm just thinking, <laughs> maybe I need to reassemble the key just like we did in the chapter. Break the vase and, you know, have the monster drop the other part of the key. The usual things. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, I totally forgot that we went down here before. Yeah, we put the coin in here to turn the power back on. Okay, um, so tipple. Barrels. Need to look at the barrels. Something stashed between the barrels of port. Should Alex pull it out? A pickaxe? Huh. Interesting. That can probably be used for the wallpaper. That, like, hidden door upstairs, I'm thinking. A hefty pickaxe for demolishing walls. Too cumbersome to, cumbersome to be used as a weapon. It might come in handy somewhere else. Definitely for upstairs. Jesus. actually do that? Oh, crap. Well, let's dispel this magic. Uh, it's green, so I want to use red against it. Stethoscope, seemingly accidentally dropped into the pile of ash, glints brightly in the light of the room. That's quite a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, let's take it. Well, that must be a really old stethoscope. Scrap of paper. Journal of Maximilian Royvis. Page from Maximilian Royvus' journal, it reads, As I contemplated these ideas, my suspicions of my servants grew and I became increasingly fearful of them. I began to watch them carefully. Days ago I watched one of them stretch his neck. I could have sworn I saw a twist in the most peculiar direction, and a bulge of muscle tissue collect and grow in the most incorrect of manners. As if a bone was being displaced from its proper location and something else moving in its place. I stumbled away knowing that I was surrounded by unholy creatures that wore the skins of mortal men and women. I had to take action. Dear God, let my hand be swift and merciful, lest the world see more of these diabolic... diabolic creatures. Well, I see why they were put in an asylum. Were the servants actually creatures? I mean, they could have been. They could have had those... What were those things called, actually? We can look at the autopsies. I haven't looked in forever. The Uliath Bone Thief. They could have been bone thieves. Their stench fills the air. You can smell them, I tell you. Somewhere between the spice of vanilla and the bitter sweetness of pustulant rot. 
those creatures inhabit the bodies of men and women, exercising the human soul and replacing it with their own putrid spirits. But they couldn't fool me. No, not at all. I could smell them, you see. They were all around me. Dear God, all around. I knew what I had to do. They had to go. My blade and bullet. I had to get rid of them. <laughs> Don't you understand? Dear God, I had to do it. Had to. You believe me, don't you? Don't you? I don't. Sorry, Max. Did I trigger that by looking at this autopsy? If so, I'm glad I did. They have no eyes. But they can see, I tell you. Oh, they all have no their eyes. own. No, no eyes at all. But you can feel it looking at you. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think we need to hear them all. I think we get the picture. Ew. So... Who paved over the wall? Red Max was hauled off to the asylum. And then, who's the person after Max? Was it Edward after Max? Alex's grandfather? Because whoever came next to the house apparently saw all this carnage in here, and they didn't even clean up the blood or anything. They just left it exactly as it was, I guess, and just boarded up the, <laughs> the room. Oh, I hear things. Is this actually happening? No, it is. Okay. I'm just so used to not actually fighting as Alex. Let's use the Gladius. Ooh. I should probably recover. Wait, I already have recover assigned. Although, I'm not hurt enough to need a full power one, which is what I have assigned. So, I'll do a medium, <clears throat> a medium power. Let's get a shield going, too. also enchant my sword, although I, once again, don't know what color it is. Ah, it's green. It needs to be red, because they're green. Right? I think? Eh, whatever. I won't bother enchanting. It makes me feel good, but it doesn't seem to do much. I don't think I'll bother executing him either, not since I realized that the recover spell can can uh, recover your sanity. Alright, let's use that stethoscope. And let's also save the game. Wait, I can't use it? 
An antique stethoscope made of brass used for amplifying the sound of a beating heart. This one is probably 200 years old. Uh, maybe I just need to have it on myself. Oh. Uh, now that Alex has the stethoscope, she can easily hear the tumblers inside. To open the safe, the dial should be turned to the right until the tumblers can be heard falling into place, then turn to the left until the same sound is heard, and finally to the right until the sound of the safe being unlocked is heard. Right, left, right. Okay. I probably went too far, huh? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think I did it wrong. Oh, I might have moved it. Oh, crap. To the right first. I need to look at exactly what the number is. Okay, so it's like 60? And I think the next one's around 80, isn't it? Yeah, 60, 80. Oh. Okay, so 60, 80, then somewhere around 40. Okay, 60, 80, and then somewhere around 40. Ooh! <laughs> Did I go- oh, good, I didn't go past it. Ooh. Oh. As the safe's door hinges open, its contents are revealed. Many important items left behind by Edward lie on the shelves inside. Essence of Zelolotov. 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 Crankshaft. Oh, that's for the the room where the light's going to be focused or whatever. Observatorium or whatever you want to call it. A letter from Edward. Her grandfather. Her grandfather. Ashes to ashes. Augustus, a storm of metal and fire, and a torrent of souls along with it, young and vibrant. Yes, I have seen it coming. A worthy sacrifice, I am sure, and one that will allow the greater guardian that resides below to finish its channeling. With this sacrifice of souls I make unto thee, Great One, the gate shall be ready to be opened, and your freedom shall be at hand. The sigil of Zel... What is it again? Zelotov. Zelotov gives off an eerie green light as if the air around it is spun into madness itself. So yeah, it's become obvious that the different alignments actually represent the different uh, like resources you have. Sanity, magic, and health. I don't think I ever explicitly mentioned it, but it looked like the attacks that I was taking from the, uh, what was it, the, the guardian thing, that boss that we fought? Uh, it looks like they were actually taking away magic with every hit. So not just health, but also magic. So I'm assuming if that was a green-oriented boss, it would take away sanity as well as health. And if it was red, I don't know, maybe it would do extra health damage? Dear Alexandra, if you are reading this, Alex, then I am surely dead. 
Knowing that the police will contact my only living relative, I made sure to leave this message for you. As I write this letter, Pius Augustus is waiting for his chance to strike me down for what I have done to the Guardian City. I believe I have slowed Augustus's plans, but not stopped them completely. He will still try to bring his ancient into this world. You must continue what our ancestor Max has started. You must gather the artifacts and call forth an ancient to combat what Augustus brings into this world. Of the artifacts, there are four, but one of these is in the clutches of Pius himself. They are the Black Heart of Mantarok, the Claw of Chaturga, the Sigil of Zelototh, the Veil of Ulyauth. Your skill in the arcane science will not be as strong as Pius's, who has had two millennium to prepare his gate. You will need all the remaining artifacts to match his power. It all rests with you, my dear. I wish you well in this desperate act. I wish I had more guidance for you, but I am at my wit's end, and I feel I am running out of time. Your loving grandfather, Edward. So it's Montrock that's the purple, the seemingly neutral color. Ashes to ashes. Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses, waiting. They prey on our misfortune and exploit it toward their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient's grip tightens, knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make a difference. People like Michael Edwards, a Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. about this one. It feels more out of control than the others. More powerful. I don't know how else to describe it. This is the safest way to blow out these things. You've done this enough to know that. It's by the numbers. It's all good. Just relax. The silicon cloth and the water spray are there, so you're probably right. We've got 500 pounds of 80% nitroglycerin grade dynamite all in place. We're good to go. Edwards, you can pull your team back now. Get your team to a safe distance and we'll try to kill the fire. Sure thing. Coming back now. We're getting a pressure increase at the well cap. It's gonna tear itself apart. Hurry! Get your team out of the... That would explain why things seem different there. It's the Pillar of Flesh. Roberta is somewhere on it. Guard it well. 
many have perished for it. Take it, take it to the ruins of Enga. At the ruins, a gathering of light. You want me to take this to some ruins under a house in Rhode Island? Take it. Save us. Sensing the danger, Mike protects his hands from the insidious magic by using his coat to carefully pick the artifact from the debris-strewn floor. <laughs> There's the ruby effigy again. Keeps popping up. Oh, pair creatures. Do I have a weapon on me? Ah, yes, I've got a firefighter's axe. Cool. Multi-purpose fire axe. Doesn't axe have an E at the end? A-X-E? Huh. Maybe there's an alternate spelling. Uh, made from... Molly Denim Alloy for extra strength and heat resistance. Durable emergency flashlight equipped with a long endurance battery. Yeah, I think that should be able to be worn on your body like that, so I should be able to wear them at the same time, right? Yes, good. And I don't have the Tome of Eternal Darkness, so no magic. Alright. Oh, that's cool, this weapon. It, like, sticks in their body for a second. Yeah, Mike seems incredibly buff, combined with a fire axe. I should be just fine without magic. I don't know why, but the quality of the light impresses me. Not that it's like doing anything amazing, I don't even think it's casting shadows. But, I don't know, it looks surprisingly good. Is that a gun? Holy crap. Desiccated corpse lies sprawled on the temple floor dressed in desert combat fatigues. A rifle, pistol, and a variety of ammunition lie about him. The soldier appears to have gone down fighting. Collect the weapons? Heck yeah, that looks like one hell of an assault rifle. Looks like something from Aliens vs Predators. Grenades? Oh, I'm gonna find a grenade launcher? Seventeen rounds of that, 480 rounds of this. I wanna try out this assault rifle. Let's see what it says about it. The Objective Individual Combat Weapon, OICW, is a Heckler & Coach G36 rifle mounted under a 20 Millimeter grenade cannon. Oh, it's got modes, so it's got a grenade mode. Okay, commonly assigned to special forces units, 30 round clip, magazine, and it's chambered for 5.56 ammunition. Okay. Oh, it's set to single shot mode right now. Um, it's probably got a multi shot? Yes, and. Wait. Just a picture of the whole magazine. Does that just mean full auto? That's a grenade. So maybe this is single shot and then like burst. Full auto. Grenade? Uh, let's try the full magazine. Yep, full auto. Definitely the one I want. That and the grenade. I think there's only one way to get out of here. Oh, you know what? You know, hold on. I haven't saved. Oh, I can't save.
Oh right, it doesn't do damage till they open up. Ooh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. This thing's pretty good. I haven't even gone through that many rounds. 420. I'm probably <laughs> I'm probably not gonna find any more ammo for it though. Not gonna waste that ammo on those. Try this pistol. My god. Pistols are terrible. Should look at the description for this. Small statuette of a defeated warrior, kneeling in respect to an unseen victor, made from a deep ruby. Let's see if there's anything down this way first. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's so boring to sneak past him. It's kind of fun just to trigger him. Although they do die, which I don't like. Three ways to go, huh? Well, let's do the first way first. Here we go. Am I? Oh, I stopped reloading. summon that thing? Although it just died? Switch to grenade mode. Although if there's splash damage, that might be a problem because I can only get them to open up when they're like right next to me. Also, I'm pretty close to dying. Yep, I just killed myself. <laughs> splash damage. Okay, not the thing to use for those enemies. Okay, try number two. Oh, hey, there's a thing here. Situated on a waist-high plinth is a gold amulet. Cool.
we're good? Yeah. Uh, I should probably get my sanity back. Because I don't have access to magic. Baby zombie! Hello. No, it's gotta be blood or it's not doing any damage. Yeah, I think I can't just do full auto. Much better. Just bait out an attack, shoot him a couple times, run away and repeat. So where are we going? Because there's still like two other ladders that I didn't take back there. I'm guessing the others have jewelry that I need as well. Whoa! Jesus. Oh, okay. You okay there? Uh, yeah, so I need the tome. Which means I need to go to the other rooms, I think.